Okay, good morning people. I um, hope we're having a great day. So guys, today I'm gonna to bring you through my diet now for building muscle, so yeah. Um, as you've seen, if, if, if you've been following the channel, I did a photo shoot there probably like two or three months ago. Um, but now it's a mission to get big, so um, take you through all the meals, everything I eat every single day. So guys, it is a Saturday morning and we're about quarter to nine right now. Um, again, I'm not getting up at like six, seven o'clock because it's the weekend and I'm just kind of like laying. I was literally in bed for there like an hour and a half like on my phone, it's like going through like social media, it's like not ideal like but um, now we have meal number one 130 grams of oats and I have my 40 grams of whey and I just mix that with water um, so that's my meal number one we're going training later on, we have a big leg session planned for today um, so yeah this is pretty much what I have most days, I'll get up in the morning I'll have 100, 130 grams of oats um, sometimes it can like fluctuate um, if I want to know I can have like less oats in the morning depending on what time I go training um, since I'm training on 12 o'clock today I'll have a, li a little bit more oats in the morning but usually I go train like maybe at 10 o'clock and like I feel if I have like a full meal of oats and like my pre-workout meal as well I'm very full when I'm training and I don't really like to be very full um, so yeah that's why I'm actually having the extra amount today so like say now during the week if I was training at like 10 or 11 I'd probably have maybe like 75 grams of oats or 100 grams of oats I'll be breaking down the macros as well for every single meal pretty much breaking down everything um, so again if, if, if you want to try these meals you can but I'm getting like don't be trying this diet um, think it's going to work for you because this diet is suited for me like I've tailored this now for myself um, enough carbs, fats, proteins for my goals and um, to do with my body so like I'm everyone's different weight, different height, different everything like you know everyone needs different uh, macro goals um, so you can try it for yourself but don't be trying this and expecting to get the same results as me it could be good to take take some ideas from these meals you know Im implement them into your own diet so yeah the macros on this one 591 calories we have 75 grams of carbohydrates 39 grams of protein and there's 13 grams of fat in this meal. Yeah, I'll have this, it'll probably be like an hour or two now before I have my next meal, then it'll be pre work meal, and then we're heading to beef it for a big leg session. So guys, if you're enjoying so far, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well, and um, I'm about to mangle this down. It is a few hours in the future right now and I'm having my pre-workout meal. As I said, we're heading off the train soon, so I'm actually kind of excited now to hit a big session. Um, so what I have right now, so I have one bagel, I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter on that, one whole egg, um, and I have two turkey rashers, that's one part of the meal, and the next part then I have 250 grams of raspberries, and I have one whole banana then as well. And I'm gonna kind of use this caramel sauce um, on top of the fruit, so I love this on top of the raspberries and bananas, this, this actually tastes so nice. Um, obviously it's just like your regular caramel sauce, so it's kind of high in calorie, but um, it's so worth it honestly. And my proteins, fats, and then I have my carbohydrates again as well. So also the calories on this one, um, 720, and then I have 35 grams of protein, I have 18 grams of fat, and I have 107 grams of carbohydrates then. Um, I like to aim for like maybe between 30 and 40 grams of protein for every single meal. Um, so that gives me, at the end of the day, I, have, I think I have like 180, 190 grams of protein in total. We'll go through it at the end anyway. Shake. I'm heading off to the gym there straight away, so I'm gonna make my pre-workout. So yes, I'm having my stim-free pre-workout because guys, I've actually had, I've I've been off caffeine now a week and a half. Um, I decided to take a, like a bit of a tolerance break because I was having like pre-workout in my I was having caffeine in my pre-workout and I was having like one or two coffees a day, um, maybe the odd energy drink, um, like either Monster. I, I need to have a Monster or a coffee every day and a pre-workout. So um, my ca my caffeine tolerance was like through the roof, so I needed to take a break. Um, but we're on the stim-free for today. So my two scoops, still free pre-workout. And also as well actually, seeing as I haven't been on caffeine, the only difference I've actually noticed is, uh, in the evenings I get very tired, right? Like at the start, I, the first day I was off and I'd pain my head at the end of the day. Um, and like a few days after that, I was kind of like a bit tired come the evenings. I still kind of am, in, in the evenings I do get very tired. Um, well not very tired, but you know, I feel like, oh yeah, I'm starting to get, get, a, little, get a little bit tired. I forgot my creatine. Um, but again, my, like, but my training performance hasn't been down at all. I'm, I'm still progressing nicely. Um, like on all my compound lifts, deadlifts, squats. 
dumbbell press, everything, like everything's going up, 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 like so. Um, it shows like caffeine isn't the most important thing to have when you're training. Like, like I might actually just stick with the stim free for the moment because it's actually scrammed, like my sessions are good. Um, I still feel like I have the energy because. Alright, guys, we're back from training. Um, that leg workout was insane, honestly. I'll say that about every session because every session I do is actually incredible. Um, so the full workout, um, I'll have it down in the description as well if you want to give it a go. Um, so I did leg extensions, leg hamstring curls, hack squat, I did RDLs, dumbbell RDLs, finish off with some, some leg press then, leg press yeah, and then I did uh, walking lunges, 60 walking lunges at the end to finish off. Um, which I'm right now making my post workout meal. I didn't record the workout because I thought you know it'd be probably a bit long having it in the video. And seeing as this is just a full day of eating, I want to make sure that it is just a full day of eating. So this, some Cocoa Pops, just the LD version, to be honest, they taste grand. And they're like literally one quarter of the price of like Kellogg's or like the expensive brand, so it's a no-brainer. Also as well guys, if you haven't checked out my, my recent video on my apartment tour, um, make sure to go back check it out after you watch this video though, um, wait till the end of this video and then click on that um, and watch the apartment tour. Um, you can see my full apartment. Um, yeah, pretty cool actually to be honest. And also well, on the topic of um, Aldi as well, I'm going to be doing an Aldi food shop very soon. Um, so I'll take you through my full food job, everything I get for the whole week and um, prices and everything. So guys, um, loads of videos looking, loads of videos to look forward to up over the upcoming weeks. And um, with so many other, other ideas planned as well guys. And also if you have any ideas, put them down in the comments down below as well. What's important for this one guys, is you gotta have this super chill. So I have my ice, bags of ice, again from Aldi. I'm gonna throw like a handful in there. seven or eight cubes. Eight. We have 30 grams away. But guys, this chocolate caramel protein is actually the best I've ever had. From Yummy Sports. If you talk to chocolate and honeycomb that I had before from Applied Nutrition was good. This is, this has levels, honestly. Chocolate caramel from Yummy Sports. I've all of my core supplements and the cork, so. 25 euro for a kg, kind of pricey, but anyway, it's definitely worth the flavor though, honestly. And on top of the Cocoa Pops, it's just incredible, honestly, this is, this is class for post-workout meal. Gonna get, get these carbs into me. So as a macros for this meal, we have 37 grams of protein, and 109 grams of carbs, which is ideal, and six grams of fat. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mangle this down, and it'll probably be like an hour or two again before I have my other meal. I'm, gonna, I just, I'm trying to watch some TV, so if you wanna like, just um, get out of my way there, yeah, thanks. I just want to touch quickly on like um like some secrets to like building muscle quickly. Um like as I said in the title, like oh some secrets to building muscle quick my secrets to building muscle quickly. Um guys, but like there's no secrets to be honest, like you know, like even though as I said, like my secrets, but there's literally no secrets. It's you gotta be consistent, you gotta be patient, you gotta put in the hard work and you gotta be so disciplined. Ninety nine percent of the time guys you have to be really disciplined. Um in order if you if, if you wanna like get results very quickly then you have to put in put in the work. Um like if you're half assed if if you're going to the gym you know, two or three times a week, give it your half ass, like, you know, give it a 50%, and um, just going, going through the motions, whatever, like, that's, you're not going to yield the results that you want. Um, so, like, you need to be, every day, you need to be, you need to have your food on point, you need to have your training on point, you need to be pushing yourself, you need to be putting in the work, because, um, like, if, if you want to change, you have to do what you're not doing already, like, you know, and if, if you want to stay the same, just keep doing things that you're doing already, like, you know, so, um, you, need, you, you need to be willing to change, you need to be willing to put in the work, put in the sacrifice, um, and you will get the results then. And then you just gotta be patient and consistent and um, don't don't expect any results like super quickly because building muscle takes time guys. But again if you put in the work over months, over years, um, it'll all pay off. Like you know, you're like, years, what? I want this in like next week because I'm going holidays. That's no you 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 can't expect to build muscle that quickly guys. Um patient, consistent and just yeah, keep working as hard as you can. Okay, I'm now actually cooking up meal number four and five um, for the next like six or seven days. So I have all the meats here that I'm going to use now for the six for the next. I think it's probably going to do me like I'd say five or six, maybe seven days. Um, so I have turkey mints. I have some salmon fillets. I have some ground lean round statements. Um, so they're the main protein sources for my meal number four and five. I, I just like to have salmon at least maybe once or twice a week and um, just for the omegas and the uh, essential fish oils because uh, salmon is actually a really good source of healthy fats. So as soon as I moved into the apartment, I actually don't have a lot of like trays and stuff for the cooking. So I've got to like, use these like tinfoil trays um, over and over. But um, it's, again, it's something I'm going to pick up down the line um, over the next few weeks. But for now we um, improvise.
so yeah, I have my meats in the cooker right now, so they're cooking away. Um, so we're now under my veg because I don't have a steamer and I don't have a pot to like boil or steam my veg, so I gotta like cook it in the tin foil tray again. So I'll show you actually what I do. It's, it actually works grand, and it actually the veg tastes very nice. So guys, yeah, so get your two bags of veg. I, I like to use two different varieties um, of mixed veg. Uh, so we're gonna pop these into the tray. So now I'm gonna get a kettle of boiling water and just pour it over the top until they're completely soaked. Um, and then I'm just gonna pop this into the oven now and leave it cooked for the same amount of time as the meat. So yeah, everything's cooked and I'm actually putting it all into the tubs now. So you see now yes, the veg is now drained out. So I'm gonna just, I like, I'm using this as my like spoon to be honest. I have no other bigger spoon. So I'm using this to scoop everything in. salmon and veg and I have some rice now so 250 grams of rice so guys the rice that I actually use so I don't I don't boil my rice or anything I don't do I buy these packets in Aldi and they're delivered 99 cent I think nine, yeah 99 cent or 79 cent per packet um, it's 250 grams of cooked rice and they do different like flavors like so this one's a golden vegetable rice it's actually very nice so there's like veg in there as well um, so it's actually very good and um, then there's a paleo rice and um, this is the other one I like um, and sometimes I just get the plain basmati rice um, so again I throw these in the microwave and um, literally that's job done. Um, so guys, this meal comes to 600 calories in total, um, 35 grams of protein, 6 grams of fat, and then we have 90, 92 grams of carbs in this meal. The meal after this is going to be the exact same, except instead of salmon, I'm going to have um, turkey mince. Yeah, and I'll probably have like another f different flavor of rice, so I'll probably have this one with the turkey mince later on. And that's literally the exact same uh, macros as this. So also as well, on top of these meals, I use a sweet barbecue um, sauce, so this one here from Heinz. This is my favorite barbecue sauce of all time. Um, so I use roughly like 30 grams of this on top. You can hear the station, the, the fire station alarm going off. I actually waited like one day, so I, I, I waited the tub before I used it, and then I, I waited it after my dinner, and I used roughly like 25, 30 grams. Um, so that comes to about 50 grams, for, or 50 calories, sorry, um, of sauce. So I counted in 100 calories of sauce. And also as well, this, I used about 70 calories of this, so I just say, I just give myself 200 calories a day. Um, towards sauces. So whoever wants to know the full macros of today, so I had 180 grams of protein, I had 477 grams of carbohydrates, and my fats were 52 grams. So that's my full day of eating guys, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or let me know your, um, your favourite meals when it comes to building muscle, um, and let me know where you are in your fitness journey as well. So guys, are you bulking, are you cutting, are you main gaining? Um, yeah, so let me, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'll, and I'll make sure to replay to all of them because um, I want to hear from you guys too. Sure to check out one of my old videos. I said did my apartment tour. Go back check that out if you haven't watched already. Um, I've loads of workout videos as well. Um, just just literally click on my little profile picture there and go to my channel and you will see loads of videos. So yeah, thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, just see you in the next one.